Power problems are an issue that all of our electronics face on a daily basis. The average power outage in our country lasts for about two hours and the average location will see two to three outages per year. The average location will also see 70 sags or brownouts in that same year and 23 of these sags will drop to around 84 volts. Swells or overvoltages also occur. They're less frequent but they can be very damaging to your equipment in the long run. So how will you handle your next power outage? Stop signs are one way to handle a power outage, but we have a better way that's safer for the public and easier on your maintenance staff. The Dimensions battery backup system is the best way to handle your power problems and keep your traffic moving. If you're not familiar with Dimensions products, here's a quick overview of who we are. Dimensions has been in business for over 23 years. Dimensions was acquired by Sensata Technologies in July of 2007. Sensata is a spin-off of Texas Instruments. Our products are still branded as Dimensions. The Dimensions products are DC to AC inverters used in utility vehicles, RVs, military, emergency vehicles, and of course in traffic signals. We have built and sold over 300,000 inverters in the last 15 years. We have been manufacturing traffic battery backup systems, BBS, since 1999. We've got over 6,800 traffic units shipped to date across North America. Our latest family of BBS products is the W series. This series comes in two different chassis sizes and two power output levels. The M chassis has been Caltrans and Ohio DOT tested and approved. These products are made in our White Bear Lake, Minnesota facility. The W series has many features. Let's cover the major ones now. This BBS is line interactive, or also known as having buck boost. This technology is used to regulate unstable utility voltages coming into your equipment so it will be protected against sags and swells. It has a wide input range of 80 to 160 volts AC. That means any utility voltage coming in within that range will be regulated to a safe operating voltage to power your equipment. This feature is easy to use as there are no settings for the user to make and it is the standard operating mode of the BBS. While in this mode the BBS uses the transformer for voltage regulation and does not use any power from the batteries. If the utility voltage were to go outside of the wide 80 to 160 volt range, the BBS would turn on its inverter drawing power from the batteries to provide continuous power to your intersection. It also has a large four line LCD display and an easy to use keypad. There are three status LEDs to the left of the keypad. The output LED will light up green anytime the BBS is modifying the utility power to power the intersection. The fault LED will light up red anytime there are any faults present, and the alarm LED will light up yellow anytime there are alarms present. The BBS has Ethernet and RS-232 communications. The IP address of the BBS and other Ethernet communications are user configurable. It also has an embedded web server, which allows you to use your favorite web browser to browse to our system to see current status and to make configuration changes. If you use the Ethernet interface, the BBS will also generate email notifications. The RS-232 menus are easy to navigate and they show current status and allow you to make changes. Charging is an important part of any BBS. This BBS has a four-step fast rate charger. The four steps are zero volt start, bulk, accept and float. The charger is also temperature compensated which means that it monitors the temperature of your battery to give it the most effective and safe charge. Our charger is also designed for either AGM or gel batteries. There are six programmable dry contact relays. 
They can be programmed for on battery, low battery, timer, time of day, alarm, fault, or BBS failure. Each relay can also be programmed for multiple triggers. So for instance, you could program a relay to be triggered by a low battery or a timer condition. Dry contact relays are used for a variety of reasons, some of which include sending alarm information through a controller, bringing your cabinet to flash when your batteries get low, or lighting a beacon on the outside of a cabinet to let people know that the unit is in backup. Now let's take a look at the LCD interface. Navigation through the menu system is made easy and logical by using the up, down, left, and right arrows. There is also an enter key to enter menus and to save changes. The escape key is used to jump up in the menu system or to escape out of changes. The INV or inverter button is used to enable or disable the inverter. Our information pack display is designed to give you important status information without you having to go search for it. We did all we could to maximize character usage on the display, so you'll notice that our company name and branding is not listed. You can find those elsewhere on the BBS. We also did not include the date and time, as you probably know what day it is, and there's a good chance you're wearing a watch. What we did include is the most requested status items from our customers. In the upper left corner of the main screen, you will see the currently set transfer points of the BBS. Next to that is the sense type mode. The default sense type is B for buck booster line interactive. You can also configure the BBS to be a standby type using normal or generator transfer points. Next to the sense type, a T will be illuminated if the time of day program is enabled. And to the right of that is the utility line voltage. Now for the second line of the LCD. On the left side, you will see a C any time that the charger is on. Next to that is the battery capacity in percent. This will be in 5% increments. To the right of that is the battery voltage and further over is the mode of the BBS. The third line prompts you to press down for menus or if there's some instant notification occurring, any alarms, faults, or current relay status will scroll on that third line. The benefit of this feature is that if anything is occurring in the BBS that it needs you to know about, it's going to alert you on this line, which prevents you from having to navigate through a menu system to try to find that information. The fourth line of the LCD gives recent backup data, showing how many events and how much cumulative runtime since the counters were last reset. There are many benefits of battery backup systems. They keep your intersections from going dark during outages and keep them running during brownouts. They keep your traffic moving and your evacuation routes flowing. Since your battery backup systems will keep your intersections running, that allows your law enforcement to do more important functions. After all, it's all about safety.